Snow Hazard. I know this is very late and you guys probably know everything you need to know about Snow Hazard, but before we get into all the discussion, I do want to make mention if you want to get your own booster box of this, be sure to check out yoyakanao.com. They are sponsoring this video and I do apologize guys again, this is very late and if you don't know who they are, here is their name. So there's a little nice little card of their store. You can also check the link in the description, but let's just get straight into this. You guys know this is one of the later, latest Japanese releases. We also have Clay Burst, but unfortunately the situation is so bad in Japan right now that even Yoyakana couldn't get booster boxes. So I apologize for this. Oh, it's a rip tab box, guys. It felt a little different. So let's go ahead and rip that up. But rest assured, in the near future, Pokemon are reprinting Clay Hazard to Oblivion, hopefully, as we know it's very popular due to Iona. And if that's the case, if Yoyakana are able to get more product, then we can hopefully open some on the channel. So for today, we're just going to have to settle for Snow Hazard. But don't worry, there's a lot of nice cards in this set. I'm actually after the Grusha, the um, Ice Gym Leader from the Paldea region. We have Bramble Gas, very nice start there. Five cards per pack. Don't really know if you're really guaranteed a hollow anymore. Let's let that focus there. Also a new camera if you guys didn't know already. Oh, Glamora, this is the Champion's Ace Pokemon. Very nice as a holographic card, actually. And what, anything else to chase after this set besides the trainer? A lot of nice SAR. So as you can see, the set actually features Qian Pao, one of the four Ruinous Spirits. There's also a uh, Chi Yu in this set, no, Wo Qian in this set. I believe it's one of the, there's four of them. There's Wo Qian, Qian Pao. Okay, wow. <laughs> that was not expected. We landed our Seeker Rare already, the Super Rod, I believe. One, I think the best rod out there. There's Good Rod, Old Rod, and then Super Rod. That's very nice. That gold, so beautiful in the Scarlet and Violet era. Hit that like button, guys. I will definitely take this over a random full art card. If it was Qian Pao, though, the main character here, I would have also been quite happy with that since that's the mascot of the set and there's a very nice SAR that's one of the cards I was actually going to talk about and I think Wo Qian so Chi, Chi Yu is going to be in Clay Burst I believe if I'm not mistaken but I definitely know Ting Lu's in the other one and then it, it's the one that looks like the thing Moose if that's the correct animal we have Marrow, Slackoth by um this is Negishi very distinctive artwork there we have Maskif, and then we have Orthworm. Oh, it's actually a very cute artwork by Hitoshi Arika. It actually matches the hollow border since it's a steel type Pokemon. Quite nice, actually. You know, as you guys have probably heard me say all the time, I love looking at new artwork. So even if we're opening only one of the sets today, it's really not a big deal because, you know, eventually patience, you know, has its own rewards. And eventually when the sets go down in price, we can all open all this together, you know, and I'd rather advertise the set when it's not overpriced. Like I, I don't want to spend $200 a booster box just to pull a $10 full art. You know what I mean, Jay? Very nice AR, by the way, the Dunsparce. So this is the evolution of Dunsparce from Gen 2. So we finally got an evolution line seven generations later by Tsuruta. Very nice. I don't know if that, there actually is a Pokeball there. Um, Among Us is kind of portraying the Pokeball. Usually Tsuruta puts a hidden Pokeball. Not very obvious. I think one or maybe a few times, maybe they forgot to put one. They did mention on Twitter, if you don't follow them already. Oh, we got Maskif and Mabostiff in the same pack. Very nice. Two dark type pups. We have Kufant, Corvusquire from Gala region. Oh, and Corvin Knight. Very nice. Not hollow, not VMAX, not anything crazy. Just a regular common or regular uncommon, not common. It is an evolution, so that would make sense. But yes. So we got our Seeker Rare again, sometimes with, with gold card pulls, sometimes you can get a Seeker Rare, like a stack box, like a second pull. So Two SRs maybe. It can happen, it's happened not before. Not all the time, but there's Def been odd occasion. Definitely not all the time. Ooh, this is actually With a Japanese trainer. only though. Japanese only, well Japanese printed, so it can happen to Chinese, Indonesian, and also Thai. By the way, Jay likes this trainer a lot, Giacomo. Oh yeah. This is the DJ slash producer looking character. The full art to this is actually quite nice and I do like the SAR. I'm going to pass it to Jay. He's a music producer as well, so he really appreciates that character. <laughs> I like this card a lot, actually. It would be funny, though, if I did pull that card as a surprise, but mm. definitely not getting my hopes up. That's actually my chase from this set. See, you guys? The Bromeo cards are where they're at. But hey, even if we don't get the, the chase secret rare, there's so many lovely um, AR cards. And we have Slacking. Very nice by Oka. I like these holographic cards. The Dunsparce was quite nice. I, I definitely want the Backscalibur by Kumia. It's so trippy. And it looks like Backscalibur is doing its like signature move. It like, basically slices Pokemon with its back blade, which is kind of badass in my opinion. Very different for... Oh yeah, this is the first evolution, Frigibax. 
really cute. There's Dunsparce. Oh, and our first EX car back with the beautiful Starry Hollows. This is actually one of Jay's favorite Pokemon, Copperaja. I actually love Copperaja. He loved it so much since Sword and Shield. I was like, why this Copperaja is one of my favorite Pokemon. <laughs> it's a very nicely designed Pokemon, I'll say. It very is. unique. It's, it's just so cute. By Uta. Very, very nice. Yeah, let's save those I up for Jay. I don't think gets enough uh, attention. It doesn't get enough love. It's a shame it didn't get a SAR this round. It got an EX. Would have been cool, right? If you want a Kapu Raja SAR, if you would have wanted one, I comment want below. One. Yeah, Jay wants one. I want one. You have to show your um, Kapu Raja collection. I've got a lot of Kapu. <laughs> See, the funny thing is, because Jay didn't really like Pokemon to begin with when I first started YouTube, it's just interesting seeing him develop his favorites. And look at that, we got a Backscalibur holographic. Super cool by Nagasawa. All right, this, I'll yeah, take that. Yeah, uh, Kapu Raja is definitely one of my favorites. <laughs> We're going back on Kapu We have to show appreciation to Kapu Raja. <laughs> Oh, I like how easy it is to rip these packs. He was but, also yeah. in my team in Scarlet. Yes, he, he used Kaparaja. I didn't, but he did. <laughs> but again, thank you, Yakanao. I know times are hard right now, especially if, if stores like Yakanao are having trouble getting booster boxes for you know affordable rates, then the majority of stores in Japan are, are struggling. Japanese shop. They're a Japanese shop. They've been consistently able to sell booster boxes from previous Japanese sets for pretty good rates, in my opinion. Not not you know I mean not the best, but also not the craziest either. They've always tried to be for this Grusha. Man, I would have loved to pull this full art. It's a him also, not a she. I'm, I'm really curious to see how many people got that confused. We have Ice Cube. Oh, Kawaii. I knew this artwork ca caught my eye for some reason. It's by Kawaii. Very eerie looking art. I like the strokes. Like the paint looking stroke he does. But yes, Kaparaja love. There's a lot of Chen Pao love in this set too. I hopefully will pull at least the EX. Because that SAR might even buy that one day. That SAR is absolutely gorgeous. Mimikyu by Himeno. Very nice holographic. Mimikyu still ever present <laughs> since Sun and Moon. Not a bad thing. Mimikyu has a lot of popularity. But yes. Yeah! Guys, again, if you're just uh, clicking into the video, you're probably wondering if I'm going to be opening Clay Burst. Unfortunately, not at this time. If your Yakanao can't get booster boxes, it's going to be nearly impossible to get it until they reprint. Oh, look at that! My wish came true. We got Chen Pao. Very, very nice. Again, one of the four ruinous spirits. So that sword essentially is like that cursed object and it got split in half and it's the saber tooth tiger teeth. So kind of interesting how they implemented objects and just turned them into demonic animals. So <laughs> very interesting. Very happy with that pull. At least, you know, sometimes I just like getting the mascot of Pokemon sets, especially newer ones. Other SIRs, um, yeah, like I said, Wochia. There's also Squawkabilly, this little bird dude on the pack. That uh, Pokemon also has a lovely SAR, as well as the two trainers that I've mentioned earlier, Giacomo and also Grusha. So honestly, oh, Shinji Kanda Bronzer. I probably, I think I've already pulled that earlier, just didn't notice it, but very nice artwork by Shinji Kanda. I am a Kanda collector <laughs> at this point. There's a lot of artists. You know, as an artist myself, I just feel like there's always a certain quality of a specific artist that I have to love. I, I feel like I can't just love one artist. I know a lot of people have that one artist that they love, but I have I have so many. Just because each artist has their own specific, you know, like not niche, but strength. Like I may like how one person colors versus the other, how they do their like texturing or, you know, or theme or even lighting. It's just every artist does it really well in their own way. Rookie D, Setaro, Bounce, oh that's a really nice artwork, and Masquerine. <laughs> Almost left my brain, but it didn't, and that rhymes. Left side, can we pull anything? These packs are kind of puffy. They feel like mushro uh, mushrooms, marshmallows. <laughs> we have Grusha once again. I was surprised how fast we pulled that UR, ultra rare, gold card. Ooh, we finally got another AR. We have Pseudo Udo. Very nice. Oh, actually. actually, look at how that shines. Pseudo Udo stands out from the rest of the hollow floor. That is actually quite cool because, you know, it blends in with the trees, but it definitely doesn't blend in when you shine it like this on the light. Ooh, that is so cool. Props to Pokemon for really um, improving the printing on their hollow cards or, you know, rare cards in general. Especially really liking the EX hollow foil. Really miss that star hollow. It kind of brings it back to like the old days, like even base set had the starry hollow. Okay, we have Relor. Relor has an interesting face, if you didn't know. There's like a funny meme going around with Relor. <laughs> I didn't realize it had that face until I saw that meme. I got a little creeped up. Belooza. Oh, these, these, these Pokemon are quite annoying when you're swimming in the water. They always chase you down. They swim so fast and it's interesting. They're like a psychic type fish. Very different, but 
Man. If I could just like have a repel just for Veluza, it would make my life a little easier in the game. Comment below if you know the Veluza pain too. I'm sure a lot of you do. Sir Skit, Frigid Bax, really cute, Mankey, and Bronzong. But I really hope Pokemon do reprint Clayburst quite a bit. You know, I feel like it's only fair for people to have their fair chance of pulling Iona if they really want it. You know, the artwork isn't bad. I do still prefer Miriam. Uh, the SIR specifically, because that is quite nice. I'd say out of the two IONO cards, I think the regular SR wins it for me. The SIR is quite nice, and I'm sure it's really pretty with all the sparklies, but it, for some reason, I like the positioning of the SR better than the SAR. One to the front. That's an Aole. That's, I think, Power Aole, some Fighting Aole. <laughs> fighting with Milk, something like that. Interesting Power Boost name, because I'm used to hearing the name Cafe Aole, like Coffee with Milk. All right, we're almost through this booster box, but again, there's so many lovely um, artwork to uh, enjoy. If it's a Titan, I think we're still due for one more art rare, so I'm really looking forward to that Glimmet. Ah, so, so, Slowpoke, very cute. And Gother Gothatel, not Gotharita. I think there's a Gotharita AR in this set as well. It's interesting with the ARs, um, it's not just like final evolutions getting featured, it's also second evolutions and also like basic level Pokemon, like, like you know, first evolutions. Got the tell. And we have energy. Beautiful energy card. Okay. Do you guys still think we can pull that secret rare? I mean, I'm not getting my hopes up. I've had plenty of booster boxes where it's just a gold card and that's it. But you know, that's better than a full art in my opinion. They're much harder to pull. Sinisty. Very nice. And a bomb of snow Still by... better than a oink cologne. Oh, I didn't tell you guys. The oink cologne that I pulled from Scarlet had weird like, I don't know, stuff on the back. It was a sticky. It looked like someone had an accident on it. I was like, <laughs> I didn't know that could happen with Japanese um, cards. I wish we had that card on it. Oh, we were so close. We got oh. Arctabax. There's so there's Frigibax, Arctabax, and Baxcalibur. Komiya did the whole evolutionary line, which is so nice. But again, what I really love about these art rare cards, you see how Arctabax just pops from the art from the actual artwork with the Hollow That is so cool. But yeah, Komiya's artwork top notch it, i know not many people will probably like it but there's a lot of cologne, yeah that, oh, that oink cologne. i don't know yo i don't know what happened with the printing there something went wrong because there was a weird white spot on it no there was stuff on the front and there was stuff on the back and it was sticky. i didn't i didn't notice it until after the opening because i, I shined it against it because i like to study the texture sometimes so i was like why is there an interesting color stain on the back and it was fresh from the pack. Yeah, fr fresh from the pack. You, yeah, you guys saw me do the opening. It was sealed. It was, you know, and that was the only car that had that stain. Someone got really <laughs> excited around Oink Cologne. Mm, okay. <laughs> All right, we have bronze or anyway, continue. <laughs> I'm going to keep that image out of my mind now. We have Giacomo. The Oink Cologne? Yeah, let's, let's not talk about Oink Cologne anymore. That, that would be, it didn't scar me for life, but it was just a bit disturbing. I'm glad that wasn't the gold Maridon. I would have been so pissed off. <laughs> okay. Oh, I, I could. I go. I drew this for Jibax. It's nice how some of the Pokemon get two artworks, which is really cool. Okay, Steeny. Ah, and another EX. We have Squawkabilly again. This is a Pokemon with a really nice S A R in the set. So shiny and so sparkly. Unmatched by Korean and English cards. If you didn't know. <laughs> two more packs. Japanese print cards still reign supreme despite all the border changes. Keep that in mind. One to the front. Bronzong Citado. Then sparse. Oh, 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 there's okay. We have Wo Qian. So it is Wo Qian and Qian Pao in this set. So you can get the lovely SIR to this in the set. I love the hollow again once more. So hopefully, we get the four ruined spirits if we get to open clay burst. So we got two out of the four. Very nice. Lots of lovely pulls. It's not just EX cards. Pokemon did a great job keeping our interest <laughs> involved. One to the front. Last pack, guys. We got a mountain. We got a primate. So oh, it even has that little chamber where the ruinous spirits are kept away. You have to pull all the stakes to open that up. Wingle. Up oh, and ending with a haunch curl. Hey, not too bad. At least we got a nice secret rare if you guys didn't check that out. Scroll to the front of the beginning of the video. Front of the video. It's like a book. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. If you want your own booster box of Snow Hazard for now, please check out the link in the description below. Yoyakanao.com.